Hey world. So I want to talk a little bit today about one of the biggest problems I have with my vision and running and hiking and climbing is with depth perception. So a lot of people who know me say that I, you know, one of the people that trip a lot on trail and I tend to um, be a little more hesitant on certain like rocky terrain and it's because I have to. So with albinism comes uh, reduced depth perception. So basically when I'm out running or out even walking down the street, it, it's hard for me to differentiate between different objects. So if someone's coming at me, I may not recognize them until maybe a few feet from me or when I'm running down a trail, I may not recognize like how how close that rock is from me or how um, uh, how far away uh, something is. So anyways, what I wanted to share was that, you know, clearly I can do it. Um, I spent a lot of time not being able to feel comfortable. I remember having an experience um, climbing up Mount Washington in, I think it's New Hampshire, and almost having a meltdown like, I don't know, maybe five years ago where I, it was really hard. Every rock, every boulder, I had to like figure out how to put my foot on and how far it was from the other, the other step. And of course, Tim is, my husband's like running through like a gazelle. But I remember that experience. Like I remember being so frustrated with myself because I was slower or I couldn't do it very well, but I just need to take my time. It isn't doable. Um, now I, I carry trekking poles when I do, you know, more, um, hikes that require kind of uh, bouldering and seeing uh, like bigger rocks and stuff like that. Um, but not always with trail running because I want to be able to use my hands to run and do that stuff. So just kind of thinking about what you need to be successful. So for me, I just need to take my time and breathe and not worry about everybody else around me. Um, I will get to the finish of that trail and hopefully there's beer waiting for me from my husband or friends. Um, but it's, it's okay to, to, to know that you have some limitations, but to also recognize that you are able to do things like climbing and running and hiking and just to find your own way of doing it. So I wrote a little bit of a, a little blog here. I'm going to share some videos from some of my recent trips that we've done. One of them is in Canyonlands in uh, Utah, which was crazy because halfway through this hike, we're bouldering through a bunch of stuff <laughs> and it was really fun, but I had to really use my, my sense of touch and my other senses to get me through it. So take a look at the videos and the pictures and please share some comments or also share your own stories of how you've been able to navigate you know, activities, not just running and hiking, but what activities you've been able to do knowing that you have reduced depth perception or other visual issues. So peace out.